On today's very special episode of Vlogmas 2022, we got some jars that need to be labeled and I talk all about my labeling choices from the design to the actual label itself. And then we get these packages off to the mail, then end our day with a cute date night. All of that and more for Vlogmas Day 3! Today's mug brought to you by Urban Outfitters. Oh, excuse me. I'm trying to show my mug. I got this for 50% off of the sale price, so it was basically $3. In today's video, do you remember all of those products we put into jars in the past two Vlogmases? Wow, looks amazing. Well, all of those jars now need labels. So in today's video, we will be labeling all of those jars and getting a bunch of orders out the door. So let's get ready for Vlogmas day three. Follow along with us. <laughs> but first I have to feed this cat. Jiggy, come on. Let's go get you your food. Not you. But before that, we got a doorbell ring. Oh my goodness, what is that? Thank you. Okay, I know what this is, but I'm not gonna open it for today's Vlogmas. That'll be the next day, tomorrow's Vlogmas. Today's Vlogmas, however, I will be opening that. So stay tuned for that package. But this one will be a mystery, a mysterious package. But first I gotta feed this cat. Hey Demps. Come on, Jiggy. Let's go feed you. Come on. Come on, Jiggy. Let's get this. You didn't even finish everything. Look at these guys. Animals are fed, Kale, Fed, Gibson, and Dempsey. And now that the animals are taken care of, I need to fix this. So let's do some magic. That is so much better. <laughs> and there's a different animal on the bed. Hey, Dempsey. And here are today's earrings. A cute little honeycomb. And another honeycomb, but with a bee in the honeycomb. <laughs> The jars are ready to be labeled, so we are going to do that right now, heading down to the soap studio. We need to label all these guys. And here are all of the labels that we need. For these jars, and even the four ounce jars actually, we use the 1.8 by 1.8 size label. We use the clear glossy for laser labels from online labels. And we think these are great for the sugar scrubs because it doesn't come off in the shower when it gets wet. They're really, they're super, super durable. And while these perfectly fit the four ounce size jars, they might be a little too small for these ones. So I think I might order bigger ones for these ones um, in 2023, but we're gonna work through, we have a lot of these 1.8 by 1.8 size. So we're just going to get through our, our uh, stash of that and then Think about ordering later on. First up, we're gonna do the grapefruit sunrise sugar scrubs. Here is how the Georgian Bay sugar scrub looks. And with the clear labels, not only can you see the scrub through the label, but you can also see it through our logo. And that's why when I designed these labels, I made the logo clear. You'll see if the product is uncolored like my lotions, that's when I add a little bit of color to the logo. So these are interesting things that you have to think about when you're creating your product labels for your business. I'll show you what the lotions look like labeled in a second. So 
So here are the differences between the two. You can see how if I had put this logo on here, then it'd be really hard to distinguish what scent is what. And that's why we add that little bit of color there. I had these logos designed by a designer on that I found on Fiverr. So it was pretty cheap when it comes to labels. Another good thing about the logos that he gave me was that you can further manipulate them in Adobe Illustrator, which is what I choose to do sometimes so that I'm able to remove the colors or add colors as I need them. So next we're gonna be labeling these guys and I'll show you how these 1.8 by 1.8 size clear labels fit perfectly on these four ounce jars. So here is how that 1.8 by 1.8 label looks on these jars and you can see it goes not totally to the edge but it's a pretty good fit. And when it came to design, I added a few other elements to make these jars a little bit more interesting. I played around with some of the fonts, but you can see that the core components of each label is similar so that it still is able to carry the theme or carry the same brand um, effect that I'm going for when it comes to these, at least down here, it's pretty similar. So if you're experimenting with labels, it's good to try to keep at least a bit of a cohesive look throughout all of them. <laughs> so now that we have these jars labeled, we are going to add them to the packages that have ordered them and finish them off, tape them all up, and we're gonna ship them out. So these are the orders that we are going to be packaging and shipping out today. They're already packaged, Kale has done a great job. And all that we have to do now is to add our um, shipping labels to them, which we print using our Mun Bin printer. We have that upstairs in our office. And once all of these stickers are on, we're gonna head to Chit Chats to drop them off. So we're gonna head to Chit Chats to drop off these packages and we're gonna take Is Gibson it? with us. And I forgot my everyday boots at my in-law's house, so I'm gonna be wearing my Calgary boots. Send them up, <laughs> my, my Calgary cowboy boots that I found in a thrift store. It was only three packages, so I figured I didn't need to come into chit chats with Kale. So I'm in here with Gibson. Dempsey is home because she gets a little bit of car anxiety, so we try to avoid it if we can. She's much more comfortable at home with Jiggy. <laughs> and as for that package, I was going to open it today. I'm so sorry, guys but I'm gonna do it tomorrow because I'm running out of vlog time here and we have plenty more vlog to go. So I'm just gonna save that content to tomorrow. So we dropped off the packages. Now what is next? I get some gas. Oh, I got it. I didn't realize you're moving. <laughs> Scrambling to put on my seatbelt. Uh, you're gonna get gas I and gas. then- I gotta change my insulin pod when I get home. Okay, let's change his insulin pod. So in terms of business stuff, I think we're good, but we'd love to take you along with us for some personal stuff. If you want to keep following our day today, we have a few more things. I need to get my nails done. I need to replace these. They're starting to get a little outgrown. And Kill and I have a date night that we are going to go do tonight. We usually try every Friday to, it's not Friday, is it? No. It's Friday. No. <laughs> We try every Friday to eat out somewhere special, just have some some special husband and wife time. So we'll take you along with us for that. The tree looks so nice. I think we're going to add ornaments to that this weekend at some point. This is my stocking over here. And we have a stocking hanger over here for Kale, but we brought his stocking with mine one Christmas when we that we spent with his family and he forgot it there. So, I guess Kale's not getting any stocking presents. Yeah, how do we bring yours back and forget mine? I don't know. I guess he's not gonna get any stocking presents this year. Lump of coal. 
No, but no, you don't even get a lump of coal. <laughs> There's no place to put it. I guess I'd be lucky if I got a lump of coal if I actually had a stocking. <laughs> it looks so sad for you. <laughs> the sun is going down, so you know what that means. Time to turn on Christmas lights. Got <laughs> time to turn on Christmas lights, but also to inflate this guy here. Our snowman. <laughs> Kill just plugs him in and then he very slowly inflates. And we cross our fingers and hope that <laughs> he inflates properly. And that's Kale getting the snow off of him. And he's springing to life. <sighs> it's almost night, but I'm going to my nail salon to get my nails redone. So I'll show you a better, I'll show you before and after in better light because it is, I'm running out of light here. <laughs> so Jerrica is over at the salon right now getting her nails done, waiting for her to come home so we can go out on our date. I took a look at the pantry and I came across this. <laughs> so this is a pack of uh, little cookies that was halfway gone when we left my parents' house. Had a few cookies on the plane ride back here and then a few more yesterday and now it looks like Dempsey has gotten the rest of them haven't you girl Dempsey did you do this I believe that it was all Dempsey and not any of Gibson not to worry though there was only like two or three cookies left she has a stomach made of iron she's got into much worse before and has turned out just fine that's the update there So here are the finished nails, and I love them. It's a little blurry because the camera was in the car and it got cold, so it's a little foggy, but I love them. So now that I have my nails freshly done, I'm gonna go with Kale, and we are gonna go on our date night, so come along with us. We started off the date at the mall. I had to pick up a few things. I love this primer from Rare Beauty and decided to try the setting spray since I needed more of that too. Once we were done, we headed over to Jampong, which is a Korean noodle house to celebrate Korea winning their World Cup game today. Kale and I met and fell in love in Korea, so that's why we have a soft spot for all things Korean. The food here was fantastic. Oh my god, everything was absolutely delicious. If you're in Calgary and want to try some Korean food that isn't the typical Korean barbecue, then Jampong is the place to try. And that's it for today. I've been loving the feedback on these vlogs and I've been loving filming them even more, so please subscribe and join my little soap family to catch all of the Vlogmas videos this year. A quick reminder that I will be posting my recipes to the products I make on camera on my Patreon. And speaking of my Patreon, my patrons are the absolute best, especially my Bubble BFFs listed here. Thank you for your generosity and kindness and support. If you would like to support me on Patreon, the link to that is down below. So that is it for today. Keep smiling and keep making beautiful things and have a happy holidays. Bye guys.